All right, here it is. We have the live show coming at you. All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the third official Upland Development United meeting. My name is DJ Shorts and I am one of the founding members of UDU. I am so very happy and excited to be here with all of you today. For those of you who are here live right now, thank you for joining us. Anyone who is not able to join our live stream, be sure to check out the full show on YouTube and the podcast on Spotify. We have a fully packed show today with many different topics to cover and several different speakers. Of course, we will have the man with the plan, UDU mastermind and originator, Ben68, here with us to discuss primary dealings with UDU branding and membership. Alongside, we will also have the one and only Uplando here today to give us a rundown of future potential partnerships and other exciting news. And as always, we will have an open discussion towards the end of our show where we encourage active participation. Okay, great. I would like to get started with a new segment called By the Numbers. Just going to give a brief rundown of some key neighborhoods and a few other metrics. We have here, according to DAP Radar, Upland is currently number one on the EOS blockchain, and Upland is currently ranked number two in decentralized games behind Alien World, which does encourage multi accounting. So who knows how many active users are actually there. A number I do have more confidence in is the number of active wallets. And we have seen huge growth this week with 12.3% growth in unique wallet addresses for Upland. That's in one week. And that's 75,000 new addresses in the past 30 days. So we are quite literally seeing the beginning of parabolic growth here for Upland. Will we be able to sustain that rate? That's a great question. Okay, I'm going to do a flyby delivery on a few key neighborhoods, going to throw out a lot of numbers quickly. Starting in Fresno, Woodward Park is at roughly 500% with the floor being 9K. Will it be able to break 10K? Jumping to Brooklyn, Crown Heights is trying to get a hold over 300% and currently has a floor over 10,000 UPX. Moving around in Brooklyn, Bushwick looks to be approaching 400% markups with the floor hovering around 8,500. Taking a look in Manhattan, we don't have an equal comparable, so we will focus on Little Italy as our premier collection, and it is certainly holding the premier. The floor for Little Italy is quickly approaching 300,000, and if you're holding in there, currently up a whopping 900% from mint price. Wow, nice one. Okay, for our final stop today, we'll be cruising back to the West Coast to take a look at the floor and sunset continuing to rise, nearing the 200% mark with a floor of almost 15K, as well as the floor in San Francisco blasting right through the 10,000 UPX wall and going straight to 11,000. This one honestly surprised me. Nice job for everyone making huge returns right now. Okay, moving along to the contest. We have had a rebranding to UUC, Upland United Contest. There was an overwhelming amount of comments about the previous name, being derogatory slang. Apologies if you were offended. We did not realize that. Okay, good. Now the insane sunset contest is officially over. And although we had low participation, we were able to learn a few important things that we can implement in future contests. Thank you to everyone who helped organize the contest. And we are looking forward to doing more very soon. For those who are active participants in the contest, we will have prizes out towards the end of this week. Again, thank you to all who participated. I'd like to take this opportunity to reach out to UDU members and ask anyone who has a vision or an idea to bring it forward. I have been working with the Future Is Now and the Crypto Jedi on some social media stuff, but we need more participation. At some point, it will become a requirement to retain UDU membership. We need active participants, not just members looking for a free ride. Just chatting with the same group in Discord does not count. Reach out and help someone. Wear the UDU brand with pride. It's one thing getting to the number one spot. It's a whole other beast to maintain it. If you're not currently participating in any of the social side of things, perhaps you can work with this next great idea we have had, which is to get a real world charity involved in Upland. We are currently in the spitballing phase, but this idea is going to be impl implemented. There is a tremendous opportunity here. Okay, great. This is the perfect time to welcome the person who recently brought up the idea of the charity event. If you don't know who this guy is by now, you are either living under a rock or brand new to the game. 
We have here with us today, the man of the hour, the one who many are calling the metaverse disciple, an Upland player who is certainly changing the game, none other than Invenom. All right, Invenom, can you take it away? All right, guys. Hi, nice to see you. Glad to be here with my team, you to you all day, every day. You guys know what I'm about. And um, I'm so happy to see so many new faces here with us in the meeting and uh, so many new um, members joining up to, to the meeting. It's, it's amazing. Um, it makes me happy uh, beyond words. Um, kind of wanted to touch base on a few things. Uh, BTU being number one, I am the BTU node leader. Um, we've had some few uh, recent entries into the BTU um, and, and all of those guys are, um, uh, uh, and gals, if there, if there are, I, I'm not gonna gender assign, but all those guys and gals are, are um, uh, doing well with us. As far as, as far as like reach out from the BTU to the UDU, I haven't been doing much because I've been so busy you know, doing a lot of other stuff. Um, um, so I apologize for that. But uh, very soon here, for all my BTU guys, I know you saw the message go out that I wanted to see who had properties in, in BTU. Um, I'm, I'm making a list and I'm going to start putting everything together so we can start doing some fun events for the BTU uh, uh, that are that are separate from everything else, just BTU kind of uh, um, team building stuff. Uh, that being said, um, you guys all know about the Rockefeller Center purchase. That was a big deal. Um, we. I had been watching the, the blockchain and I could see that I was uh, the biggest UPX holder for some time, but about an hour before the, the um, auction, Dizzy popped in about 40K. And so I said, oh no, here we go. And uh, it was literally a race to 45 Rockefeller Center. And um, luckily your man, I got it. Dizzy's fingers weren't fast enough, you know what I mean? And went in there i got that stuff we, we took care of it uh, uh that was a big deal and the reason why it was a big deal listen guys i know that there's a lot of player unrest about things that have been happening inside of upland and it's happening probably for longer than i've been around actually for sure for longer than i've been around uh, about how the devs don't really respond to issues that you know critical issues or don't give a a good feedback to you guys uh, um, um from that so uh, I kind of am using my platform as a megaphone with the guys like Idan and Dirk and X1. And um, I mean, basically all those guys, I'm using the fact that I kind of have a little bit of a speaking voice now to, to push those agendas to make sure that the players are being heard. Um, one thing that I can report is that we had an issue where there was a, 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 a critical uh, a hole that was identified outside the community that um that we we found and um normally something like that would just be like oh yeah yeah we'll talk to you later that was fixed immediately and responded to by don uh so those types of things those types of reactions i think are going to be more commonplace now um because your feedback i'm i'm giving it directly to Adon and saying look dude we need to win back the hearts and minds of, of the community and if we don't you know upland is not in a good space it's beneficial for all of us to have a good relationship with the devs and to feel like at least if they're going to give us a shitty answer they're going to give us a shitty answer and we're going to know that we're going to get an answer versus asking a question not hearing anything and then everybody gets frustrated circulation you know rumors begin to circulate and then we have a big problem on our hands which happened it's happened more than once so so that being said i'm personally taking it on myself to make sure that that kind of stuff doesn't happen anymore. Um, uh, as far as uh, everything else is concerned, everything else is going great. Um, there are some recent transactions that have happened that everybody will be hearing about very soon. I know the UDU knows about it, but it will become public knowledge very soon. Uh, that being said, I have um, Naveen Jolly. He's our, our main developer, uh, the lead developer for UP2.LAN. He is the guy that uh, um, I'm bringing from outside the outside world and I'm bringing him into Upland. He's actually started playing Upland. So congratulations to him on that. He loves the uh, community. I think that we've kind of won his heart. He's been watching the meetings. He's been watching the interviews. And now I can see a huge uh, um, energy inside of him because he sees what he sees our vision. So we've successfully taken uh, uh, him from the outside world and plugged him into Upland. And now he sees our vision. So one thing I wanted to do is just share a quick screenshot of, of the alpha version of UP2 land. This is the first place it's ever been shown publicly. Nobody else has ever seen it except for the alpha testers. 
Um, and uh, I'm going to just give a second to Naveen to ask him a couple of questions on it. I'm not going to show it for too long, but I want to just put it on there uh, so you guys can see that we do have some work um, that we've that we've done. So this uh, here is the UP2 LAN uh, uh, main dashboard. We've had some talks about the colorful uh, look of it. I think that we're we're going to be changing that to more of a business casual look. But in the beginning, it was kind of, that's kind of the way it came in. Now, keep in mind, this is all in alpha stage. So this entire thing could change, but this is going to be a kind of a dashboard that you have. You have your offers, you have, you know, go, go to a certain location. You have your notifications, you have all that stuff. Uh, a lot of these buttons are going to be combined. Um, these buttons here were, were for the property cards. These are actually going to be the property cards from the game. We're waiting for the API to come in, which we have access to officially. Um, but once it comes in, we'll be able to drop these, uh, 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 the property cards in this area is here where it says property cards. Um, also, you'll have the ability to do mass sales, mass uh, uh, offers, mass take off sales. And that means you'll be able to see all of your properties on like a table where you'll be able to, you know, add them together and, and move them around. Kind of like if you had your cards, your property cards all sitting on a table. And, or you could switch to the, the strictly the data view if that's more comfortable for you. But I, I like the visual aspect of being able to group your cards in a different categories, cat collections by street, by city, whatever you decide you're going to be able to do there. Um, there's going to be some really cool statistics and a huge, huge news about a data analytics uh, uh, a side of UP2 land. So stay tuned for that. I... Um, I appreciate you guys' patience with us. We should have some answers very soon. Uh, um, as of tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a meeting with the Upland uh, dev team to work on getting all of that stuff squared away for UP2 LAN. After that, it's light speed. So after that, we're hitting the ground running. Naveen, is there anything that you can add real quick to to um, the development part of this or you're, you're playing Upland or any of that? Is, now, now would be a time just to give us a chance if you to give a couple words. Uh, it's just great to be see you all guys over here. I mean, it, you know, I just, uh, and when I'm, he made me so excited to see this game, once I went in there, it just blew up my mind. I just looked up a couple of YouTube videos. And every time I just uh, go ahead, Jim, I just in parallel, I listen to those videos. It's just great. As of now, no, I, I, I don't have any question as of now, right now. I'm pretty much uh, working with uh, with you and when I'm, it's just, uh, it's just a good opportunity to just, uh, you know, uh, get all the information from you and develop something out of that uh, UP LAN and uh, bring it as an app outside the game itself where you can manage all the properties right from that application. So just sit, uh, stay tuned on this one and uh, we'll see how we progress and uh, hopefully you'll get something out really good. Yeah, I appreciate your time and your effort, Naveen. I know it was difficult in the onset, but I think that now we, we have a chance to make something awesome. I know that you can see the the need and the want for the game. So without taking too much more time, guys, I know that we, we uh, have a, a, a tight schedule. I want to say thank you to everybody in the UDU. Thank you to everybody in Red Planet. Thank you to everybody in Little Italy. I really appreciate you guys. Um, uh, I've felt nothing but love uh, once again. And uh, I really appreciate everything that this community has given me. Um, it's basically my full-time job now. So you guys are going to see a lot of me. Um, Upland is going to be what we're going to do. We're going to make money here. And I'm looking for, last thing, I am actively looking for ways for players to make money outside of Upland, okay? So that's going to be my focus and my goal for the next, I don't know, however long until I figure it out. Um, there are some interesting opportunities with Green Rabbit Holdings, which is my LLC that we're going to be looking for in the future. So if I contact you with something like that or somebody contacts you with some stuff for Green Rabbit, I suggest you take a serious look at it because it's going to be interesting and it's going to be a way for all of us to make money uh, outside of property trading inside of Upland. So anyways, thank you guys so much. Awesome. Thank you for all that insight, Venom. Uh, wow, some really cool stuff there. It's almost a little bit overwhelming. I'm excited to get that new management tool out. That's going to be insane. What did you say? What did you say you're calling it? Sorry, I missed that. The, the, the management tool? management tool does it have a name yet or we're not yeah, up2 up2 land that's up2.land that's going to be where it's going to be at yeah awesome that's really cool stuff man okay um great so uh we're going to go ahead and swing things over to the originator and founder of udu ben 68 he's here with us live today 
So uh, Ben, can you give us a rundown of the happenings in UDU? Uh, thank you, DJ and everybody. Um, first of all, I'd like to start off with an apology. Um, I didn't really personally react very well to the whole Brooklyn fiasco and kind of fell into some bad habits. And I need to thank DJ again, because he went through and cleaned up some of my mess. Um, so I've, I've come up with a new code word. Um, if you hear me drop the code word, a dingo ate my baby. That just means that grandpa needs to go and have a little lay down and cool down for a while. So you'll know I'll be back at some stage. So hopefully you don't see that, but if you do, you will know what that's all about. Um, no worries, Ben, no worries. <laughs> Um, for MTU, not much happening there at the moment. We're just kind of just ticking along. So I'll, I'll skip that one for this week. Um, we do have some pretty big news with the LMU, the Lone Mountain United. Podex has been working like a beast uh, behind the scenes, um, pulling deals, organising people to help him buy up the floor. So I'm pretty excited to officially announce that that will be an NDN. And I guess because that, that was originally T Davis's baby. So we'll reach out to him and see what he wants to do there. But yep, big um, big props for Podex and all the work he's put in. Well done, mate. Um, another thing I wanted to touch on was we had a bit of a server lockdown. That's been ongoing for a while. Um, from this point forward, it will be only node managers themselves that can, that can deal with the invite links and once the person that's been invited is in, then we'll try and go through and remove those. It seemed as though some links were shared externally and I know Nubex and a few other players, they helped me clean that up a bit. And speaking of the server, we will be doing a, I will be going through and doing a big reshuffle of the roles. Um, as you can imagine, any kind of server like this, there's always like a backstagey area. Um, I will be going through and tightening that up a bit. Um, there's a few defunct channels there. I'll be cleaning that out. I, what I envision there is like there's Envenom, DJ, myself. We're kind of the three main guys that are steering this ship. And then we'd like to have probably around six or seven generals, if you want to call them. That, that would be the moderators of the server. And if anything, if there's any dramas kick off or something like that, They'll essentially be the, the the kind of main members that'll help us work through any problems of that nature. So um, there will be some but some people who had access back there. You might lose access. Just know that it's not a reflection of you or anything like that. It's pretty much just squaring that away to almost like a a management area. It's, we any discussions we have will will still be taking place in the open area. Um, We've been busy this week tweaking the, the node logos and also tweaking the how we envision the map. So I have to think, have to thank Screw again for that. Um, I think we counted through last night. We now have eight nodes. So he's been a very busy boy. Um, thank you again, Screw. The work you do is amazing. Um, you will have seen that I've put a membership handbook channel up in the server. I'm still working through that. And as part of that, I've put a section in there about the UDU core values, um, branching off of what DJ started last week. When you get a chance, just have a look at that and offer your input in there, please. Um, just a couple more things. The theme song, uh, thank you again to the Nasty Hooks. Um, I loved it and Venom loved it. We did have one member who reached out and said, oh, this is the worst shit I've ever heard in my life. And I think, you, think there may have even been a couple of thumbs Thumb down being put up there. Um, I won't mention any names, but TJ. Um, yep, so we'll move on from there. And as part of that, oh, no, before I move on, I should just say, look, that theme song was built entirely from my taste in music and what I put forward. Um, if By all means, and I reached out to DJ and I said, look, mate, um, if you've got someone you can work with or you have an idea, yeah, run with it. We'd love to get We'd love to get more ideas on board. We are going to be big enough to take on multiple things like that. Um, just maybe, maybe no like Garth Brooks type stuff. I don't know. Maybe that's your deal, whatever. But, you know, maybe that'll be my turn to have a whinge and my ears to bleed. But we get it. Um, 
Yeah, and with, with that, we do have a couple of members working on a lyric video for the theme song. And I've seen a few um, progress updates from that and it's looking really cool. And a few other things, we have some new social media roles. I'd like to thank Arlen Kova for coming on board and taking over um, setting up Reddit. Uh, the future is now is going to work on Instagram like we discussed last week. And we've just had Nimo Ryan come on board this morning. He's gonna do a whole bunch of data analysis stuff and sorting out which members are in which NDN and all that sort of thing. I did reach out to ENX about that as well. So we'll see if he comes on board. And apparently PodX is a bit of a data guru as well. So we've got a whole bunch of people coming on board to help out with different things. And one final thing before we move on is going back to Screw and his amazing artwork. The merch store is live. I've already put my order in. So if you want to have a look, um, he, he was a bit he was a bit worried that he hadn't received any test pieces yet. But I've, I've ordered stuff from Redbubble before and haven't had any dramas whatsoever. So yeah, take a look at that and yeah, put an order in. Where, where your UDU or all of the nodes will eventually be up as merch, wear it with pride. Other than that, it's just kicking along. As I mentioned in the interview with Envenom and Uplando, I'm working predominantly behind the scenes, getting things tightened up, working on documentation and that sort of stuff. So yeah, that's all. Thanks, Deej. All right, thanks, Ben. And I wanna make, make sure everyone is aware that that is not a small task. There is an incredible amount of work that goes on behind the scenes. You don't accidentally create a group like you to you. It's a tremendous amount of work. And uh, thank you for everything that you've done, Ben. I know uh, that doesn't get put in the spotlight as much, but uh, I know what's going on back there and it's, it's a lot. So thank you for that. Okay. Um, so uh, moving along, we are going to try something new here today. We have none other than Uplando back with us. So we've got some uh, special stuff coming at you and we're going to have a part two to the interview between Uplando and Venom. Is that right? Uh, are, are we there? Uh, can you comment on that, Uplando? Hey guys, thanks a lot. Thanks for having me in. Uh, really, really appreciate it. Uh, love to be a part of the community. Love being a part of it. Uh, UDU is a community. Um, know that first and foremost. It's building on what we've done in Discord or what everyone has done in Discord to make this a huge community. The help, the feedback, the player interaction, helping new players. Uh, doing things that that uh, that that Envenom and and Ben sixty eight uh, specifically Envenom had put together on that charity party drop that that on us in the actual Trail of Blue video that is out. If you go to YouTube and just type in KCBC Crypto, you're going to find it there. There's two actual interviews, uh, both runtime a little bit over thirty minutes. I dropped it in the comments section. Uh, if Ben, you wouldn't mind dropping the link to the merch uh, store in the comments. Uh, in chat, that would be great as well. Uh, remember, um, that is really what this core community is going to be about, in my opinion, and, and going forward. I think it'll be telegraphed that way, uh, is there's going to be a lot of giving back. And I have spoke with Venom both on and off camera, and I think he's an amazing guy. And this is going to be something that's really special, and that really cements the game going forward and what can be done with with participating and giving back, no matter if you're new or if you're a veteran in the game, all welcome. Uh, Been 68 and 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 giving us kind of the template for what can be done in the game and and, and doing something that people you know was outside the box. So good on you, and um, we'll watch out for the dingoes. Um, you know the code of conduct is incredibly important. Uh, I want to impact. I want to make sure that that's that's everybody is always. Uh, is, is conducting themselves in a manner that is becoming of the UDU. Be tactful. If you have a dispute, reach out to somebody. Know that everybody in the community, that's what the UDU is also about. You know, we, we, want, to keep it, we want to keep it friendly for all guys and gals that are involved. Um, the, uh, I've been putting out an Upland Tome. Uh, the Upland Tome is basically probably going to be an online resource or a wiki that people can add to. Credit will go to anybody that adds. It's very helpful if you can copy and paste and put that into general for new players. I know that, that, that people tend to not read and go through those things. 
Uh, but if you get quick reference and get people adding to it and make it searchable, I think it'll be a helpful and resourceful tool. So more on that in the future. Uh, at this time, again, there's only the two interviews that I've done uh, that are centric to uh, Envenom and then one, of course, with Envenom and Ben68. There's great information. If you didn't watch that, he literally drops that in the end of the video. He says, watch Rockefeller Plaza. It was, it was mind blowing. So um, I, I just thought that that was amazing. Um, and that he did drop it in the podcast live. Uh, well, it was edited, but it was in the podcast. So uh, moving on, there are going to be uh, interactions for nodes. If you're interested in wanting to have uh, a node and that would be for the neighborhood development. Uh, so what, what, what you can do is reach out to, to one of the members of the UD members that being Ben or DJ uh, tell us what your, you know, tell them what your thoughts are and going forward and what you're wanting to lock down. Um, again, it's amazing because as we saw, uh, Bodansky had a few uh, properties and working with that player and reaching out to them and, and, and working back and forth with properties that were in uh, areas that we had interest in and trying to have players given an opportunity to make moves there before everything kind of got out, uh, moving quickly. So greatly appreciate it with that. Thank you, everybody. Screw, uh, your artwork is amazing. New people that have come into it. Uh, Satoshi, Mars, Nubix for all you do. The list just goes on and on. Santa, we have Santa in. That's amazing. Uh, that was a tough, tough one to get. You know, the guy's, the guy's busy at the North Pole. Uh, last and uh, least, I, again, am here. I'm working with this group. I'm working with Venom. I'm working with Ben68 and DJ Shorts and the guys to make a positive impact in this game. So with that said, uh, on the Nasty Hooks as well, the Nasty Hooks aren't for everybody, guys, but if you haven't seen a show of the Nasty Hooks, oh my gosh, the entertainment value, second to none. So uh, they're definitely an acquired taste, but uh, definitely a pair of good guys. If I missed anybody, I apologize, but that is it really um, for everything here. And I know that Ben is working on that code of conduct, updating it, uh, putting it out there to everybody. Just a word. So thank you everyone for having me. I appreciate it. If there's any questions, we'll save till the end. If not, thanks so much. Um, before we kick on DJ, I'll just follow on for Uplander there. And Uplander, I've just sent you a message, mate. We'll work on that code of conduct stuff together. That, that'd be really appreciated. Um, just following on um, about the neighborhood nodes, just keep in mind that yes, the goal is that we wanna, we wanna build those out. We wanna to work towards neighborhood collections and that sort of thing but we really don't know the mechanics behind any of that yet. So just keep that in mind when you're buying into different nodes that yeah, it's, it's all pretty fluid. We're not sure how it's gonna play it. Thanks, DJ. Thanks for jumping in there, Ben. Um, uh, so I, I guess uh, I'd like to throw it back to Invenom. Uh, did you have anything else you'd like to touch on real quick before we uh, move on and open it up to further discussions? Yeah, um, really quick, because while I was while we were doing this meeting, what I was talking about earlier is official. So um, we have some really big news is the UDU. I'm going to have uh, I'm going to go through UDU channels to release it. But uh, there's some really big news. It's it's official. It's done. So just, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I can only guess. What stay, that's tuned. Gonna be. stay tuned for that. Yeah, stay tuned for that. everybody. <laughs> I can only guess. OK, awesome. So uh, this is going to be the part where we are going to go ahead and open up for uh, participation. Uh, do you want to go ahead and make a comment here, Ben? Do you have anything? Um, not really. I mean, it's it sounds scary when we kind of say it like that. Yeah. Uh, if you're not participating, you're out. That, that, that's not how it's going to work. No, no, I didn't mean to come off like that. I just want to stress that. We do expect um, participation. Um, it's this it isn't going to be a grab onto you to use coattails and enjoy the free ride. You know we're going to require some sort of giving back to the game. Uh, what that is for everybody, you know, we don't have anything written in stone yet. Um, but I just don't want anyone to expect to just go ahead and grab a couple properties and then just use the UDU branding to go ahead and go out there and, and further their own personal gains without giving back to the game. So that, that, I don't know how I came across exactly, but uh, uh, that's the point I was trying to make. Um, yeah, 
that's all good. Um, a lot of a lot of us are still trying to find our feet within the UDU as well. There's new roles emerging. Um, I did have some members reach out and say, how can I get more involved? And I didn't really have any immediate answers, but think outside the box, you know, think, think, think yourself, how can you get involved? What can you do? There's probably skills like we've mentioned before, there's probably skills you have outside the game that you can bring into the game and to the UDU. So, yep. Looking can I touch on that real quick? Ben, um, speaking of thinking outside the box, like I said before, I also want everybody in the UDU to think outside of Upland, right? We're all smart people. We all have tools and, and things that, um, you know, that we can use to, uh, uh, um, I think, make money outside of this bubble. Like, let's not cl close ourselves as UDU stuck here in Upland. Let's close it to make some money for everybody outside of this bubble upland related and and that's that's definitely uh, you know I, I would like to try to find upland links but i would like to try to make money as a whole for everybody i'd like everybody to make some money so yeah that being said um you guys i don't know if you guys would like to do it or not dj i know mars is a, a new new member of the team and i know that we all want to give him a chance to maybe talk and, and do it or not yeah this would be a great time mars uh did you have anything you wanted to add uh you want to jump in here Oh uh, yeah, no, I'll uh, I'll jump in. You know, things uh, moved pretty quick last night, <clears throat> so it uh, looks like uh, we're either very close or have uh, acquired a node in Laguna Honda. Or uh, oop, cut me off, cut me off. Um, but uh, joining the team here, you know, um, got some things happening. Like um, you know, and Venom was saying, looking forward to uh, looking at other options outside of Upland. You know, I've been in the game not quite as long as Ben, uh, but coming up on a year now and uh, been organizing my own events, uh, you know, wrote the theme song for the Upix podcast. Uh, Left House and I were one of the first ones to ever put uh, videos on NFTs, um, you know, launching Metaphors Comics on May 1st outside of Upland as well. So we're, uh, we're, lo we're looking at angles and if, uh, we're running parallel to Upland instead of just trying to strictly live inside of there. So, um, you know, just, just hoping to, to contribute to the group any way that we can. Awesome, thank you. That's uh, great. Thank you for participating. And uh, yeah, um, do you have anything else uh, you want to add real quick or should we go ahead and open it up? I just wanted to say thank you to Mars. Yeah, we have been having various chats, um, trying to work out how we can get him involved. And he, he comes with a big team as well. And yeah, a lot of the partnerships that we'll be doing, it's a lot of stuff that will be not strictly within the nodes and that sort of thing. It'll be like uh, mutual participation, collaborations and of that nature. But yeah, super stoked to have him on board. And we're also in discussions with a lot of other well-known players that we're hoping to get on board as well. Yeah, I'll just uh, jump in there. I did leave it out. Like you said, uh, I do come with a, a bit of a team. You know, uh, AdRock is my uh, number one partner with Red Planet Industries inside of Upland. Uh, you know, and then we have a crew, you know, uh, my lady Venus and K Boogie. There's about 10 of us. And uh, Left House is also, uh, also coming with our crew here. So we'll be bringing in those talents, you know, video, whatever we need. And, uh, you know, actually going to be jumping straight over to uh, go on the Upland Action News Live right after this, so. Awesome, exciting okay. stuff. Thank you for uh, being with us here today and uh, looking forward to all the future uh, wheelings and dealings and happy to have you as part of the UDU. Uh, okay. Quick, TJ, just one last thing. I'm sorry, guys. And I yeah, just yeah. remembered it while Mars was talking and Crypto Jedi might be interested in this part of, part of the, uh, um, the meeting. Uh, I was contacted by Sturz Merlin, um, and he, I guess, had saw the video with me and Uplando, and, and I think that there was another charity thing that they did. They raised ten thousand dollars, or um, I, I don't know, I don't remember where it was, but he wants. Yeah, to it was be for. Uh, sorry to cut you off. It was for St. Jude's, the Play Give Connect. We all went pretty hard. I almost, I almost wore the merch that I got my Block Explorer on that one. So yeah, we. Uh, I think we got up near eight grand on that one. Yeah, so so I'm I'm gonna work with Sturs on that. I think that will be a good thing since he's already done it. Um, and I'm officially saying that as of right now, I'm gonna make a, a personal contribution to whatever fund we go of two thousand dollars. So I'll put two grand towards it to push 
push everybody else to try to do the same or do what you can. So um, that's, that's my contribution as of this point. Thank you for that, guys. That's really impactful. And that's going to touch lives and change the game in ways we really can't even anticipate. That's going to add a whole nother element and a whole new layer. Um, and I wasn't aware that you had done a, a, um, a, a, a something like that, Mars. Uh, so uh, that's new information for me. So thank you for bringing that forward. And um, OK, uh, th is there anything else we need to touch on that real quick or should we go ahead and move on? I've got one last thing. Um, I want to continue this talk about the charitable organizations. Guys, there are, as, as you look, and Venom said, it, there's a whole, <laughs> there's a in real life, uh, say, you know, part to all this. So civic, be civic minded in what can be done there and what we can do to help. Because if people come in and just say, oh, it's just this, you know, what are you guys doing buying and selling digital real estate? What's that going to help? Well, what, what it's going to do is bring people together from all over the world to have civic minded actions and actually go out there and do civic projects, help with charitable organizations and do these things consistently. It's just not a one time thing. This is going to be something that's consistent. And, and you'll see that, I think, from all the players. And also, last little thing, definitely, I feel my spidey senses are feeling that Oakland could be a thing very, very soon. I, I really do believe that during this week sometime that there will probably be an announcement. I don't know that officially. That's just spidey senses going off. So get prepared. If you've got things that you want, if you're looking for areas, be ready. That's it. Thank you guys so much. Good insights there. And, and yeah, I'll, I'll harp back on it again. The charity thing is, is not to be uh, dismissed lightly. That is, that is huge. Um, so thank you all for, for bringing that up and, and speaking on that. Uh, I, I, uh, I'm going to be participating as well. So that, that's really good stuff. Um, okay, so I guess we're going to uh, go ahead and move on here. Uh, it's a perfect time to bring up Oakland and kind of... Uh, open the discussion here a little bit more. Um, so uh, as we all know, Oakland released this week and it was pretty exciting. Uh, there was a little bit of uh, concerns with some of the happenings. Um, I was overall very pleased with it and I thought it went about as smooth as could be expected. Um, I went ahead and grabbed some, um, some properties that I was looking at and I intend to get more on the next release. Uh, so with uh, that being said, uh, looking at the week of head, is there anybody who would like to comment on Oakland or anything in general? I, I'd just like to say for Oakland, um, thanks to everybody that jumped on our live Zoom while we were doing that. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we're, all, we're all tearing our hair out during that and DJ's in the background dancing away. I'm like, what's going on, mate? It was, it was, it was a lot of fun. It certainly made it a lot more interesting than... I can tell you from being involved in the previous Brooklyn burn uh, up at four o'clock or whatever it was, one o'clock in the morning, sitting in the living room by myself, swearing to myself. It was good to be able to bounce those frustrations out with the team. So thank you to everybody that took part in that. I had a blast. I was sitting there chugging coffees and energy drinks. So I was highly caffeinated and I was loving it. Okay. Um, well, um, is there any other uh, topics that we need to go over? Uh, Venom, Mars, anything you'd like to add? I'm good. I'm good. No, no, I think I covered it for now. And uh, yeah, just happy to be in the crew and uh, we'll be around for sure. I'll just awesome. bounce on and extend on what DJ said again. Uh, yes, as we know, we're, we are looking at securing several other nodes. So keep an eye on the chat, um, especially like things like that unexpected Brooklyn release, as frustrating as it is, it, it will happen, it does happen. Um, we're lucky in respect that we, we do have a lot of boots on the ground. We have a lot of eyeballs on the game at all times. Uh, please, if, if something kicks off, like the team is likely to release a stress test in Oakland before we go live with the release. Um, who knows, the intern might fat finger the button there again um, if something like that happens, uh, please get, get in the chat, use the tag at everyone. Uh, we, we try not to use that too often, but if it's something like that, yep, if there's, if there's people around, jump in, coordinate amongst yourselves. I mean, you all know what the targets are. Uh, get in and do what you can. 
any help in securing those extra nodes would be very much appreciated by everybody. Absolutely, and more on that to come uh, likely next week, but uh, we don't have exact timelines because we don't know exactly when Oakland will be released yet. So uh, we will be discussing that in uh, the, the next meeting uh, for sure and um, more to come. Uh, so I guess this is the uh, time to wrap it up. Uh, uh, I'd like to thank everyone for being here today. And um, if there was anything that we didn't discuss or if we missed anything or anybody has a segment that they would like covered next week, please reach out to either myself or Ben68 or Invenom and let us know. And we will try to make that happen for the next meeting. Um, this is going to be ongoing. So same time next week. And uh, thanks everyone for being here. All right, that's gonna wrap it up. Well, thank you.